Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Dr. Glenn Vo, and I'm here with man. I, it's kind of weird for me to say like like an old friend because you know I just I can't believe that I've known you for almost almost four years now. But the CEO of Call Force, you guys know about Call Force, and if you don't, you're about to find out about it. Corey Penninger. Corey, what's up, man? Glenn, it's good to be here, man. And it, it is, it, you know what? It's actually past four years now. When really? we started the company, which was December of 2016, we got introduced to you probably like six months in. And I remember doing our first live. You guys overwhelmed us right out of the gates. <laughs> And it's it's been awesome to work with you guys ever since then. I've lost you. I can't hear you. You know, for all the times that we've done Facebook Lives, I figured that we wouldn't screw up like this. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, awesome, awesome. So yeah, you know, I mean, it's so crazy that, you know, it just seemed like yesterday that we met, but it's like almost four years now. And, um, you know, you have, Call Force has been amazing for my practice, but just as amazing as has been for my practice, it's been amazing for other practices as well. But you know what? Before we go any further, there's probably some people who have never heard of Call Force, I mean, a small amount of people. Everyone knows about you guys in my group, but we have new members all the time. So, Corey, just let's just go over what Call Force is, uh, how long has it been around, what do you guys do, and you guys do a lot. Explain all those things for those who uh, have never heard of Call Force. Yeah. First of all, it's a pleasure to be here, and thank you to Nifty Thrifty for supporting us for years, and we really mean that. Uh, Nifty Thrifty's been a huge part of our growth, especially in the early days, and has been very consistent ever since. So thank you to every single one of the members. I was checking this morning, and there's 16,500 members, correct, Glenn? Or no, 30,000 members now. How many are you at? <laughs> yeah, we're 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 thirty five thousand now. <laughs> okay, so we, we, we went for the half number. We wanted to be corrected, um, but really, what we're going after at Call Force is missed opportunity. You know, thirty two percent of all phone calls to dental practices go unanswered, and a majority of that, I want people to know, isn't like these before hours and after hours emergency calls. Those happen, but it's it's not the main part of the problem. Fifty six percent of all hygiene patients are overdue. $1.4 million a year of unscheduled treatment is left on the books. Are insurance verific verifications or eligibility checks properly done and annotated in our software where the doctor can walk in and deliver the highest amount of services for a low cost to the patient? And that's really what we're going after. We're saying where are practices because they're lean, mean, and really well-run machines struggling when, with inefficiency? And how can we provide simple systems that allow those practices to succeed. So we're not a new fancy tech company. We're really looking at how with really awesome people behind the scenes who know your practice, who know how to schedule, who know what insurances are in and out of network. How can we help them work with you and you only pay us when we're getting results? Well, Corey, let's talk about this. I mean, uh, you know, obviously what you guys is do is so important, but I, what I want to know, what the new members to understand is you guys aren't, again, you guys aren't just new, a new company. Talk about uh, the Nifty community. Uh, you know, how many, how many Nifty members are actually using you guys? And just talk about like the reception you guys got in the group. I mean, when we started, Glenn, we did something that was probably new to the group and also not well known within the dental industry. We did overdue patient recall when we first met you from five to seven 30 from the practices phone number. And at that time there was really awesome big companies out there who did text message relationship, but no one did phone calls. And so I remember getting introduced to you and then we went out there and did a live. And I mean, we probably had 20 nifty thrifty customers sign up within the first two days. And since then we have worked with hundreds and hundreds of individual members within the group. And it's been awesome. 
Well, uh, man, you know, I'll tell you what. I mean, people must love you because I'm just looking at the, how many viewers. You, there's a good amount of people watching right now. Obviously, a lot of people who are already Call Force customers, but you know, a bunch of new ones as well. So let's let's talk about the menu of services of Call Force, right? So obviously, the big thing. I mean, you hear the name Call Force, right? Obviously, it's it's take, making those phone calls, getting those patients back on. And I tell people that everyone in their practice they have a gold mine. I'm like, you're sitting on a gold mine. I was like, what do you mean? You know what I mean? It's been slow. No, no, you're sitting on a gold mine. Your gold mine is your patients, right? The ones that maybe since the pandemic, maybe they haven't been. I mean, I'll tell you what, if you're not going crazy through your Greek call right now, there's something going on. And maybe you might need a company like Call First to help you out. So talk about that, Corey. Mm -hmm. Talk about that gold mine and talk about like some of the practices that you guys are servicing that all of a sudden, hey, we need even more help from Call Force. Talk about that. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very real reality. And first of all, I think people know that overdue patient recall is important. To get super real, it also sucks. Like it's not a... <laughs> No one's going to get done with their hygiene appointment and have 20 extra minutes and is like, oh, I'm going to hop on that recall list real quick. Oh, yeah. That's that's not something that goes through people's brains. So what we've noticed as a company is it's often falling on the back burner that, OK, we'll do it if there's time. And so whether or not you use call force doesn't matter to us. What we care is to educate the community, the dental community on how to properly do it. You need to block off time and you need to assign someone and you need to hold them accountable Wait, 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 hold up, Corey. Are you telling me that the practices that say, hey, we'll find some downtime just to do it here and there? Are you telling me that's not a good strategy? Hey, I, th I, th I think we all know that's not a good strategy. <laughs> So, so yeah, you know, you get to block out some block out some time, but but the thing is, is Corey, here's the biggest thing is that it just seems like everyone's always busy, right? The doctor's busy, the assistant's busy, the front office is busy, people are busy. So what do you say to those people who say, look, it's just too busy here? Well, obviously, obviously, there's a very easy answer to that. But before we go into the easy answer, what would your, your suggestion be? First of all, everyone's busier than ever because staffing for any company right now is a tremendous issue. Oh, gosh, I know. And so <laughs> even if we did have enough staff, we're most likely churning staff quicker than normal. And so handing it off to a company who does it and you only pay us when we get results. And obviously the more results we get, the more we get paid. So we're very incentivized to kind of be out pounding the pavement every day. It has worked very well. And that way you're not having to manage fluxes and deficiencies within your business. You can say, hey, Call Force is professionally trained. They work with thousands of practices. They have hundreds of team members and we've scheduled hundreds of thousands of appointments. We're going to do it right. We have training teams. We have quality control teams. Really where we want to be in the industry is not seen as an outsourced call center, but scheduling experts. And that's the reason we only work within the dental field. So so just clarify that because, again, I mean, I think that's always a misconception. Obviously, for someone who's been working with you for years, I know the difference. Right. I know the difference between someone who is trained and you. Out, and this is not like you outsource, uh, you know, to a call center somewhere and, you know, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't even know what's going on in your practice. They don't even know the doctor's name, right? There's a big difference there. So, so just, 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 let's just address that because a lot of times people are thinking, well, it's cheaper if I just use this call center, but it's like, yeah, but it, they don't do anything with dental. So talk about like the big difference there. Yeah. First of all, it, we, we know exactly what a root canal is. We're going to know what an implant is. We're going to know not that your insurance is or is not accepted, but it, that it's in or in, or out of network. We're going to understand what times the doctors, we're actually working in your practice management software. So if someone calls on Sunday night and says, hey, I just fell and I chipped my front tooth, we're going to schedule them for a limited exam and we're going to collect their insurance information, register them as a new patient. Instead of just sending you a note saying, hey, Corey called and he chipped his front tooth, call him back when you have time. Our goal isn't to make additional work for the office. Now, sometimes we do when there's complex cases we cannot handle. To sit here and say, hey, we get every call we can handle. There's that three to 4% of calls that are just so custom that we refer those to the office. But generally, we're scheduling all new patients. We're scheduling hygiene appointments. We're rescheduling appointments. We're rescheduling treatment appointments so that the doctor can be focused on 
delivering awesome healthcare and the staff can be focused on running the business internally. So, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to say something here, something that Corey won't even say because he's a very humble guy. He's never going to brag on himself, but I'll tell you, you know, if though, for those who are wondering like, okay, well, how do they know the dental practice? How do they know what's going on in my practice? Corey's company invests in consultants like Laura Hatch to come train his team to help them become better. Right. He invests in all these other professionals. There's so many other people that we're not going to even mention, but he works with the who's who because he wants to understand and his team wants to understand our practice better. So, Corey, I know you're not going to say that, but I'm just going to say that for you, because, again, that's a big difference. Right. That's that's how you know, that's how his team understands better. But, Corey, you also take it a step further. You actually hire people who have some dental experience. You're not just finding random people just, you know just out in public and just throw them in there. You actually hire people who have some experience, right? Yeah. And, and for different train for different teams, you know, there's, there's some teams where not as much dental experience is needed. And then there's some teams where dental experience is beyond necessary. Yeah. Um, an example of that would be calling on unscheduled treatment. That, that is not something that you can take someone and put them on the phones and have them dial and it goes well. Patients are going to have technical questions. They're going to need to understand costs. And if you've actually lived and breathed and operated within a dental practice, you can connect with that patient and it's not clunky. And a patient can say, I trust them. This is authentic. I'm going to come back in for my appointment. Absolutely. You know, so Corey, you know, let, let me, I want to go over one other thing here. Uh, and I, of course, then I'm going to, we're going to talk about all the services and also how much you guys have grown. Right. And that's, a, that's another sign too. I want to tell you guys something. Whenever a company is growing, that's actually a good thing. That means they're doing something right. If someone is just like, oh, you know, business is dying, you, you need to figure out what, what's going on there. That's a good thing that Call Force is growing and they're and they're constantly trying to get better, constantly improving everything. But Corey, you brought up something. I know how Call Force gets paid. And you briefly went over that, but I think it's really important for the new members of Nifty Thrifty uh, to understand that you guys only charge for what is booked in our practice. Is that correct? And talk yep. about why that's always been important to you as a company and important to a group like us, the Nifty Thrifty Dentist. So, I mean, first of all, someone who says, hey, pay me a flat fee and I, I, I'm going to get a lot of work done. We want to put our money where our mouth is. So yeah. if we're not successful at what we can do, why should you be paying us if we're so confident in it? And so for us, it's, it, it, it's the marketing guarantee that, hey, if we're, we are not getting butts in the chair, then we should not get paid a dollar because that's what we're getting paid to do. And so why take a guaranteed upfront when we can say, hey, Dr. Vo, I want you to trust us. And we are willing not to get paid until we're putting patients in your chair. And then what we're going to do beyond that, though, because I think there's, I don't know, rant coming. I think there's an issue within the industry of like, oh, I got a patient scheduled. That is only the very beginning of the journey. We're tracking that patient ID and that individual patient to, did they show up? Did they not show up? And how much did they spend? And we're then reporting that back to our practices. And why that's important is it's then not, hey, Dr. Vo, we scheduled a 10 appointments and eight of them were super wishy-washy. We want to be held accountable for that. Wow. Because patients on the schedule is great, but butts in the chair that are actually getting treatment gives better health care and better top and bottom line revenue for dental practices. And that's why we're getting hired. We are not getting hired to make the schedule look busy. And I don't want dentists to think that. Really, we want to be accountable for, yes, putting people on the schedule, but we're going to follow that through because we may realize that a certain HMO insurance is not the right insurance with show rates or the payouts are not right. And we're going to remove that from our recall list so that we can get the effective right patients and high showing patients back on the schedule. Now, Corey, uh, you know, you were just saying something that was very interesting there. That is kind of tracking to see how much revenue that was brought in from that particular patient. Do we get that report as call force clients or is that yeah. something that you guys use just to track internally? No, we're, we are happy to share any of those with clients. Oh, nice. That's what we're working on long-term is putting that in our portal. So right now, clients have the ability to go see all of the calls, the appointments, what's happening, why people are not showing. What we're working on is building that into the portal. But a client can email us. You can message me on Facebook right now and say, hey, 
I want to see my production per visit and my ROI on your services. And we're going to get that sent over to you. And you can request that when you want. We want to have a successful partnership and we want you to see the proof in the pudding. And we also want to say, hey, the show rate's not really good right now. And here are some suggested changes. And we want to work as a team and be held accountable to the analytics that we're showing. Well, since you brought up uh, the topic of services and and what you guys do, let's go over that real quick. You know, obviously we we led with the hey, look, we make sure that we, you know, get those recall patients back on board and whatnot. But you guys do so much more, and it's so funny because when I brought you on to your very first Facebook Live, and I think we were using a different platform back then. You know, <laughs> we were using something different, but you know, obviously that was the big part of Call Force, but over the years, the Nifty members wanted more. We're like, we need more help. And and you just put your thinking cap on and you provided all these services. So let's talk about some of these other things that over over time when, when clients ask, hey, we need this and you guys fulfilled it. What are these other services you guys have? We And first of all, we built the services not to have a bunch of random services, but really sure. to have a suite of services that drives revenue. That makes so sense, to, right? And that makes sense and that we needed. And to go through all five, number one, and the staple that we started on is overdue patient recall. Next, we looked at overflow phone calls because that's a huge issue during hours and after hours. Next, what we looked at is a managed live chat. So during the day, customers are going to text. There is so many darn hats a front desk team member wears. Oh, gosh. Ordering supplies, verifying insurance, checking patients in and out following up on payments that have not been completed, sending bills. It's amazing. And, and you didn't even mention the doctor coming there and asking those random questions while they're trying to do something. Exactly. And so we said, hey, we'll put a web chat on your site. They, they can text, they can chat through, and we'll manage that and schedule it for you. Next, where we went, and this is a stat from a great analytics company, is that $1.4 million of unscheduled treatment sits on our books a year. Oh, wow. $1.4 million. If you do a million dollars a year, your total production that you could have completed on is 2.4. So we have trained dental professionals with experience that are calling on that unscheduled treatment. And again, you pay us if we book it. Wow. And then finally, we do insurance verification or eligibility checks. It is so darn time consuming. You now, that's a big one. Okay. That's a big one because uh, I'm going to tell you this, Corey, and you probably see it too. Not a week goes by that someone says, hey, who's doing insurance verification or who's doing insurance and this and that. The fact that you guys are offering that, the fact that you guys already have like the infrastructure that make the calls is huge. So talk about the... What made you guys uh, kind of get into that? It could be, maybe it's the nifty members saying, hey, you need to do something like that. What, what, what kind of pushed you guys to get into that arena? And also, how does that work exactly when using it through Call Force? And I think you're frozen, Corey, but it's okay. When you jump back on, we'll get you back on. So guys, you know, we're, as we're waiting for Corey to get back on, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a screen share and share with you the Call Force website. Hey, Corey, you're back. Ooh, we're hey, we're back. That was no, a no, no worries, no worries. I, I I was talking on your behalf. I was actually going to do a screen share, show them what the Call Force website looks like, but they can go check that out later. We want to make uh, best use of our time together. So we were talking about the dental insurance verification. Uh, what made you guys kind of get into that arena, and uh, and then what do you guys actually do as far as the, how does that And so I believe about a year and a half ago, we had a request from a client in New York. Um, she may be even in the group. Um, and we said, hey, let's give this a shot. We started learning and we realized that there's a massive opportunity within eligibility and verifications. And so that's where we started. We now do it for, we do thousands of verifications a day. Um, and really what we're doing is you're gonna set a cadence with us. You're gonna say, Corey, I want you guys to handle all hygiene appointments or all Blue Cross Blue Shield appointments, because guess what? You have to call for every Blue Cross Blue Shield appointment. Or you can say, let's do all treatment and all hygiene appointments. And our team works 48 business hours in advance and completes them all. We put the notes where you want. And what makes us different and I believe unique is we work off your form. So you're not coming to us and getting a standard form. You're going to say, Corey, this is the information that we need. You're going to have a dedicated rep that's in our office here in Utah. 
and you can call them on the phone at any point and they're verifying your information. If you have a last minute emergency that happens, ring your rep, tell them that you need this done and they're going to get that done and into your practice management software. It can be in the patient charts. We can put the actual information on deductible, deductible and the services they're eligible for in the appointment notes so you can scan over that and know that they're eligible for an FMX and a pano and fluoride because we want to work with you as a team but be really reliable and not tax your internal staff on something that is really time consuming. So Corey, you know, what I'm going to ask here is, well, I mean, does it matter what kind of practice management software they have? I mean, do you work with everyone or is it like only certain ones or there's certain ones that you don't work with? We, we don't not work. So we, we are remote accessing the system. So we don't integrate through, so we can work with care You staff. can work with anyone. Yep. Great, great. And I love the fact that you guys use our forms because there's so many companies that say, okay, you got to use our form, but there's stuff that I want on there. Oh, that's our form, you know? So I love the fact that now for someone who's like listening, they're thinking, okay, uh, my staffing issues, I'm having some issues with staff and I really need some help right now. How long does it take normally to kind of onboard someone to do the, uh, to get someone to help with the insurance verification? How long, what's the process like? As soon as you say go, we're up and active in less than five business days. Wow, that is amazing. And you know, speaking about the other services, what's the lead time with the other services? Let's go with the core product all the way down to like the web chat and and um, and then also the unscheduled treatment, all those things. What's, what's the lead time for all those? All of our services are on the same onboarding schedule. So as soon as you say yes and you have that first meeting, we will have you up and active in a guarantee before five business days. If not, if there's a technical issue or a certain glitch we're seeing, we're gonna communicate that through, but we hold our internal standards to be five business days or less. Okay, well that is great. So, cause again, we, we see it all the time. Now, now you guys know, right? Now you guys know if you're in a pinch, right? If you're in a pinch, you know, reach out to call for us. But here's the thing, if you're not in a pinch, wouldn't it be nice to just take a couple of things off of your team Take a few things off of your team so that they can focus on what's really important. Like, I don't know, maybe the patients are standing right in front of their face, right? <laughs> that would be helpful, right? That would be helpful. So look, Corey, um, here's the thing. You know, I want to have a, a, enough time to do this because there's so many new members in this group now that, number one, they don't know about call force because they did. They would be saying, hey, you who had your insurance coordinator and the front desk quit the other day, uh, you would have just said, Hey, I'll just use call for. So now, you know, thank you very much. And you're welcome. So Corey, let's talk about the nifty deal because you know what, <sighs> you know how it goes, right? You're in the group here, but the great thing is before I go into the nifty deal, I do want to say one thing to everybody, a nifty deal, getting a deal. That's a good thing, right? That's great. But what makes it really special is when a vendor like call force is part of our community that responds, that when we tag them, we ask questions, they respond, they care about the community. That's what you're gonna be getting with Call Force. But with that being said, Corey, nifty deal. What do you got for us, man? Awesome, so first of all, we, we wanna make this worth it. And what we want is a long-term partnership. But I wanna be very clear that, first of all, we're gonna waive all setup fees for all nifty members. That's 299, so you have no Ooh, barrier to entry. And what we also want to create is no barrier to exit. If it's not working for you, which we hope is never the matter, you can leave at any point. We have no contracts. So if you need help for 90 days on insurance verifications and after you say, okay, I want to drag that back in house, you can, and there's no strings attached. Now we hope to keep your business for much longer, but we believe that business is earned and not given. And so there's no barrier to entry, there's no barrier to exit. And then what I also want to do is give you $200 of free service to start. So you can use that on appointments for recall or 30 to 40 insurance verifications. And that's for you to use and test this. And guess what, Glenn? You could cancel once you use the 200 bucks. Well, you could okay. pay first of all, first of all, that is a super deal. Uh, especially it's super generous because again, you know, that's the one thing that so many people in dentistry, they're always worried about. They're like, what if I do, you know, sign up for them and then I'm stuck, stuck in a contract and I can't leave and all that. And what if I don't like them? I mean, you just pretty much took away most of the barriers right there. Because we believe in our service. And if we're not willing to stand up here and say, we believe and we want to prove it to you, then why should you use us? 
we have to drink our own Kool-Aid before we can go out there and we're willing to lose money if we're not living up to our values and we're willing to go to bat for that. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, so again, that, that was a whole bunch of stuff that you just 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 laid out there. I mean, it was way more than I thought you guys were going to do. So, I mean, I know, guys, you haven't seen Corey in a while because he's been busy, man. They have so how 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 much how many new people did you hire for Call Force to to keep up with the demand uh, that you've been getting? How many how many new team members? In the last year, we've added hundreds of team members and wow. thousands of practices. So look, I mean, they 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 saw the fact that. There was more demand. They made sure they had the right amount of team members so that no one is left behind. Everyone's taken care of. That is a hallmark of a great company there. Okay, Corey, the nifty deal again. What What is the nifty deal? No setup fees. That's 299 gone. Of course, there's no contracts with any of our services. $200 of free service to completely start. And then we're offering an individual discount on all of our services for Nifty members, and that's between 20 and 25% off the cost of an appointment or service rendered in addition to that. We're, you, we're didn't here bring that you didn't bring that up. I think that the longer I make you talk, the better the deal gets. I mean, we might have to it's just free, on, we'll, free now. we'll just do this Facebook Live all afternoon. No, that is an amazing deal. Okay, so Corey, here's the thing. Uh, obviously, you know, we're, we're going to tag Corey in this post. He's probably going to make a comment. He'll make a comment in the comments section about what the nifty deal is. But the cool thing about it is you see his name, click his name, send him a message. You want to talk to him? You want to sign up? Talk to him. He'll get you uh, signed up with the, the right people. And that's the beauty of Nifty 50 Dennis, right? You're not calling in and just, you know, talking to anybody. You want to reach out to the main guy? The main guy's in the group. The main guy's right here. You can message him anytime. In fact, you know, the more messages Corey gets, the happier he gets. You know, so message him. Message him super late. If you're in Hawaii, go ahead and message him. He's all right. You know, hey, it's, it's 24-7, 365 Facebook messages. I there, there you go. There you go. Okay. So, Corey, so for the uh, other than messaging you, what's the best way for them to get this deal? So I'll put this on our uh, on the uh, comment thread below. I'll put our website with the specific landing page for Nifty Thrifty that goes through the deal and the details. Um, and I will comment that below, but just, you can go to our site as well, which is www.getcallforce.com. You know, go check it out. Look at, look things over. Uh, and then once, once you're ready to rock and roll, you know, you'll have that link in the group. You can click on that or again, click on the link. Then also message Corey and tell him, Hey, thanks for the nifty deal or something. He'll love that too. So Corey, you know, before we jump off, uh, I always like to have all my guests just kind of you know, just say something, you know, as far as like, it could be like, hey, giving call force a chance or, you know, what you guys have been doing for practices, whatever you want. I'm going to give you the last word before we log off here. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I have any specifics to share, but that we care for a partnership and we see ourselves as an extension of your practice. And that takes communication and working as a team. We are not a service provider. We do not see ourselves as a transactional service, but we see ourselves working really well with growth-minded dentists, and that takes a team. That takes feedback from the dentist and feedback from us on why patients aren't scheduling. So look at us as your growth partner. Don't look at us as a service provider. We, we, we don't want to be that. We, we want to be someone that can bring value to the table every single day, and we look forward to earning and proving that with each one of you. I love it. Uh, there's nothing else I could say that's better than that. But Corey, thank you so much for jumping on. For those who are watching, get ready for the link. Reach out to Corey. Again, you know, so many people are are facing the same issues where, okay, I can't find the right staff members. Staff members didn't come back. Maybe they're a little worried. And, you know, there's a gap there. Reach out to a company like Call Force. You can see how generous they are, but also they are members of this community. Uh, and if you ever need something, they're going to be there. So, Corey, thank you so much for jumping in here. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you all later. Thanks, everyone.